this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview on the Ring Central desktop app. Starting at the top, you should see your phone number. This means you're logged in correctly. And then if you hover over this gray dot, you will also see your name, which is another indicator that you are logged in correctly. If you click that, you will get to your profile. This is where you can edit your profile by adding in maybe a picture or changing your status. Your status is something that other people can see and it tells them if you're available, if you're busy, or if you're at the office. You do have four different options here. Available, busy, do not disturb, and invisible. If you're logged out, you'll generally be on this gray invisible. Do not disturb is a setting that you can put on and that will make your phone not ring and send everything straight to voicemail. Starting at the top, this is where you're going to see your messages and because it says six up here, it means there are six messages that we have either not seen or not heard. Your messages are going to hold everything from voicemails to faxes to texts. When you click all, you'll be able to see everything. And then you do have the ability to uh, search by typing in somebody's name or typing in somebody's phone number. And then you can sort it down by voicemails, faxes, or texts. Going back to voicemails, you can see I have three that are blue. This means that they are unheard. Once you do listen to them, they will turn black. Clicking this I will give you some more information about the voicemail. You can see here the name, the phone number, when it was left, the duration, and then it also does type out what they said. Same with text, if you see the information here, you'll be able to see who it was from and when it was sent. And then you do have the option right from the screen to call them back, text them back, or block the number. On this screen, you can also add them as a contact. So seeing as this number is not one that is in my address book, because if it was, I would see their name. So I could just click this and it will add in a new contact and then I can add in all of the details. Going next is your favorites. This is a quick reference that you can add people to and you can just quickly have the ability to call them or text them without sorting through all of your contacts. This is going to be your meetings. So this is going to be where you can see all of your scheduled meetings and then also be able to have a link to click into the meetings and start them. Up here is going to be your call log or where you find all your recent calls. I can see here that I have 63 unheard or unseen calls and because I know I've missed them, they're red. And right now I am just on missed. So if I click into all, this is where I can see everything. And I have a lot of missed calls, but you will also be able to see any recent calls that you've made or recent calls that have come in. Next, we're gonna look at your contacts. This is going to be your directory and this is going to hold all of your contacts. You can either scroll through them to find the person or you can start typing in and narrow that search down. You can see right here that this star is highlighted blue. This means that I added them to my favorites. To add another person, you can simply just click the star. It'll turn blue and you'll be able to see it in your favorites. The next tab is going to be your HUD or your heads up display. This is where you're going to be able to see everybody's presences. So I can see that James is available and Doug is available, but JP must be logged out. And then I can also call them and text them from this screen. 
And then this is going to be your standard dialing pad. So this is where you can uh, click numbers to start calling. You can either use your keyboard to, to type or you can click. And this is also if you are on a call and you have to enter an auto attendant, you can push these numbers. Next, we're going to go down to the bottom. This is where I can start a text. So if I know that I want to text James, I can type in his number and I can click here and then just start typing in a message. And then if I press send, it'll just be sent directly to his phone. If you want to start a video conference without scheduling it, you can click this button and it will pop up and you can then type in people's names that you want to add the video conference to. This is another way this, to start a conference. This is going to be your conference call and it will also give you the uh, participation access code, the number they should call in, and then you can either send it as an email or a text. If you do faxing, you can click that button and basically just drag in files, enter in the person's fax number, enter in any details that you want, and press send. And instead of going to a fax machine and waiting, this is just like sending an email. And then you can view your settings by clicking settings down here. And this will just kind of give you, if you want to change your ringtone or you want to change your microphone. And that is your quick overview of Ring Central desktop app. So again, we talked about viewing your messages, viewing your favorites, viewing your calendar, all of your call logs and recent calls, your contacts, your heads up display, and the standard dial.